everybody welcome back to a new video so today we are going to be reviewing and ranking the paw hut 51 or 52 inch cage i forget especially if you're looking for a budget friendly cage that is larger in size for your bird then this is the video for you to watch if you guys are contemplating a cheaper more budget friendly but still um how the cage really is for the price point so we're going to see how easy it is to build we're going to see the actual quality and the cage itself and as well how worth it is it for the price point so hope you guys enjoyed the video <laughs> There are, in this specific order, dowel perches included, and as well, plastic um, food and water bowls. Now, in case you guys don't know, we do not like dowel perches. Uh, they can cause bumblefoot. Birds need more groovy, different, uh, textured perches to be standing on. So, like, if you have, like, one dowel perch, it's not the end of the world, but they need variety. Um, because this is not natural for them and um, a lot of companies will just throw these in I've noticed that and as well we do not like plastic bowl feedings over here why because it is a breeding ground for bacteria stainless steel please it's my way to organize it just lay it out like this and hope I can follow it because I don't know how to hold all this together Meanwhile, we have our observers. Everything. Okay. There you go. This. And then those are the ends. Mm-hmm. What does that mean? Yeah, but I'm confused. Why is it like... Are, are we holding it upside down? Is it maybe supposed to be like this? Not this. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, I think I really might be holding it upside down. <laughs> it was just sliding. Hold up, hand eye coordination. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, wait. No. Okay, oh. wait. Yeah. <laughs> Sweetest. <laughs> she decided that she likes it. Lisa. <laughs> I'm getting nervous. <laughs> this is such a stare down you're getting. Oh my goodness, it's so tight. Oh wait. You hear a little bang, Lucy. Should do it blind. I'm just about to screw this in. Okay, a little bit of trouble, like, it's like a little tilted. It's not like correctly aligned, so we're struggling. Both both of these sides are like that. Um, I think we got this one aligned. We're just loosening it up to make that side easier. Okay, needed to, literally to push this down to align it, to put it in, but we got it. <laughs> Do you need help? Mm -hmm. I can do the wheels. <laughs> I think the wheels are just, yeah. Pushing. Push oh, you just push it in? Okay, so it's just pushing and then I'm, I'm holding the other side. 
All done. Lift her up. All right. Thank you. Okay, so aside from the actual mess I've made in my parents' room, we are going to finally, after building it, review the cage. So we are going to be reviewing it based on how easy it was to build, the actual quality of the cage, quality to like the price point. Probably shouldn't have taken us like three days because I filmed that building in quite a few days. But I will say the fact that it did need two people, honestly, you even could have done with three, but two people to put this cage together, you it's really hard to do it on one. You also need somebody who can have a lot of strength to push in these parts of the cage together because this was hard to put. Um, some of the screws were a little hard to like really put in with the Allen uh, wrench. The instructions themselves were pretty easy to follow. They weren't too hard. They were like, they're like Ikea picture instructions. So it isn't too hard to understand what to do. It's actually just physically putting it together. So rating it on how difficult it was to put together on a five star scale, I am probably going to give it a three. Uh, it wasn't crazy difficult, but it wasn't as simple as one, two, three, especially considering that you definitely needed someone else. So quality of the cage, we're going to take a look at the actual physical quality. I'm just going to take this random dowel perch out of here. Okay, let's actually look at the cage. So the first thing that I noticed, the actual exterior area here is a good material. It's not like paint is going to chip from here, so it's not low quality, kind of like... I have this old one, which I'm going to get rid of, but you can tell it's rusting, paint is chipping. Uh, not with this kind of material, this is good. You're not going to get that, which is something I like. Um, one thing too, it is not super like <laughs> um, strong or stiff. It does bend a bit. Luckily, <laughs> luckily our birds are very light. Uh, it doesn't cause any bending when she's actually walking over it. <laughs> but maybe if I put like the plate of food that they eat, it might bend a little bit. So it's not really held together in the, <laughs> in the best way. Uh, you kind of slide it into these things. The bars themselves are also quite thin, uh, which makes great for smaller birds. It's okay the spacing for medium birds uh, as well for small birds, but definitely don't get this if you have a large bird. It actually has a few doors, has this one up here. It's like a, it's not too easy to slide up and down. Uh, it has like two story doors. <laughs> so first floor and second floor. There's this door here, which is, I guess is the feeding doors. Other side, same thing. Door, this one's a little easier to slide up. Door. And then the actual physical doors, the system to close it. Um, not a bad system, very thin though, but it is a door like this. It's a good size opening door. This, you want cup? Okay. <laughs> so it has one door and it has a second door down here, which at least helps a lot with, uh, getting your hands in there and cleaning. So I appreciate there's a second door there. There is down here, um, is held for this and then the tray it's a plastic tray which isn't bad because plastic is easy to clean you can just put like a paper towel down and then the tray just slides right down here okay she didn't like that i moved that yeah sorry uh and then it has a shelf here to hold things which I, I like i like having that extra bit of like uh shelf space because it just makes it easy to keep things that you need kind of on hand there's also wheels and the cool thing about this is two of the wheels have brakes on them so it doesn't go sliding around everywhere so i put the brakes on opposite ends this one and then this one so at least it doesn't slide back and forth or anything so that's kind of good the one thing i was kind of sad about let's see a little sad because this came broken uh so this one is uh i'm sure we can like Wield, weld it back together but not everybody has those supplies uh so yeah this came broken i was a little sad about that but it's not the end of the world because honestly putting this together and honestly if i were to say oh it came broken i want a new one putting it back in that box it's not happening i will just deal with that so after inspecting the cage looking at the whole build the quality i'm gonna say that for the price point 
um it's better quality than a lot of other cages so i'm not gonna say this is top tier quality but i'm definitely gonna rank it at a four star because it did impress me um more than i thought it would because it could have been like bad quality like the cage that i showed you the paint was chipping but this is really nice material um obviously one of the parts came broken which is a little sad but again i am i can live with it it has nice doors just a little like not the strongest so i wish if it were stronger i probably would have given it a five so i did pay about 150 dollars canadian for this so <laughs> for 150 dollars for a 52 inch cage and usually cages are very expensive for it to be a smaller um, brand which is paw hut i would honestly give this a 4.5 star rating if you are on a budget and you need a larger cage for your birds this is a really great option because i'm always skeptical about secondhand cages because you know even though people say they wash it or you wash it you never know if the previous bird had any diseases and i just don't want to risk that or in their poop or anything so i'd rather get a cage brand new unless you have someone that you know and is a trusted person for the next video we're gonna put it all together all the inside all the ropes all the perches everything like that so stay tuned for next week's video i hope you guys enjoyed this review video i hope that it helped you guys make up your mind if this is the cage for you or not hi this video make sure to hit a like hit subscribe if you want to see more of us leave down a comment down below if you have any other cage recommendations what cage do you guys use make sure to check out our social media links down below as well as our etsy shop we sell tons of things like tote bags jewelry boxes makeup bags keychains etc etc mm -hmm. i'll see you guys next time bye, -bye.